Hi, welcome to Smelly Sweet. Today's episode is called Creep, the most overpriced fragrance house in my collection. Yesterday I thought I was going to call this episode Creed, the most overpriced fragrance house. But I realized that who the fuck am I to tell you guys that? Because I haven't experienced it all yet. So I had to turn it to look at it from my perspective, from my collection. So that's where we start off. I will start off by telling you that you impatient bastards out there, comment down below which fragrance house do you think is the most overrated? Let's start a discussion about that one. And when you're, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Now, I do own one bottle of Creed, and that is Creed Aventus. I do enjoy the scent, I do enjoy the fragrance, but I wish I knew some things before I bought it. I wish I knew about all the clones out there. Some are worse, some are really bad, some are good, and there are some even fragrances that are way better in the same category. One of those is Nishan's Hachivat. I really enjoy it. I believe that even Nishan themselves got out and told that this is our take on Creed. Creed Aventus, I must say. So, I really enjoy that fragrance and I'm now saving my money to get my hands on that one. Now, where we start off by talking a little bit about the bottle. No, the box. The box that Creed comes in. It's just an ordinary box in carbon. Just like most other designer fragrances out there. For example, Yves Saint Laurent White. Just ordinary carbon box. You have some text on the back, you have some text batch code in from the bottom, you do even have some text on top of it. So that's a lot of text reading. I don't believe many people do, does read the text. You can compare this, um, this bo box bit with uh, a cheap one. Sarah, Cool Heights. I mean, this is a 20 euro bottle inside. This is a for, for 200 euro bottle in here. So you do have carbon again, yes, but some nice features. We took the strap off and you open it like this and you can display it like that one. So that's cool, a cool addition to the, to the fragrance. And even if you jiggle it around, it doesn't move. It stays in place. If you jiggle this one around, Mm. So consider 20 euro, 200. The, fragrance, the, the juice, they are not the same, not even close. They are totally different. That's not why what I'm doing here. Um, I will come back to, to in-depth reviews about the fragrances I'm talking about today. I just don't find that the, there will be time in this episode to do that. So I'm now talking about clones. This isn't a clone. This is probably a clone of... Uh, uh, is it uh, Invictus or something like that? Uh, anyway, that is the box difference there between. You even have Rituals, if you look at the box from Rituals. I mean, it's ordinary carbon box, but when you lift it, the top off, you do have a nice presentation like that. And then we have, of course, the Rolls Royce of fragrances, which to me is Fragrance du Bois. No text whatsoever to be read. Just clean, neat and simple that gives you the exclusive feeling. They do have a sticker here behind which tells you which fragrance it contains. And this one is Oud Rose Intense. I'll come back to that one later on. Now, when you open the box from uh, Creed, you do get a nice little leaflet out that tells you about Creed and Creed as a company inside. But I mean, who reads that? Because when I open it, the first thing I do is throw that away and go straight ahead to try to smell it. And yes, the fragrance is great. The fragrance is good. It's fresh, it's powerful, it's gentlemanly. So I do enjoy the fragrance, but the bottle feels cheap. Really cheap bottle, no thought through design. I mean, with all the text on the, the leaflet, all the text on the box, they still manage to find some place for some more text. <laughs> I don't think that takes away a bit of the charm with a fragrance. Now, if you compare this bottle to uh, this from Usel Y, it's a little bit more design thought, thought through bottle, which I feel is nice. You can even compare it to the bottle of the Sara I was talking about. I mean, getting this in your hand, it does feel heavier. It does feel more that it suits better in your hand. 
So that's 20 euro, 200 euro. I mean, that's a big difference. And the cap, the cap on this one is as cheap as it is on the Creed Aventus. Plastic, quite boring cap to me. Nothing special about it whatsoever. So if you don't take the bottle of Rituals, Oasis Vata, a pretty good scent to my nose. Here you have the wooden cap that gives you that feeling of a little bit more exclusive. The scent is great, uh, great atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, small things that can make uh, the impression, the overall impression better. So now let's talk a little bit about Fagans de Bois. Urbro's Intense. You saw I had to pull it up, it doesn't go easy, so you can't drop it that easy. And in that box you do have yet another box with some soft fabric around it, covered it. When you do open it, you do get a nice little pouch here and a nice presentation. I'll come back to you guys about the presentation in a short while. This little pouch, when you open it, contains a piece of wood. Well, not just any wood. It's from the same plantage where Fragans du Bois extract their oil, oud oil from. Uh, so this, and you smell it, you do get a little feeling of oud. In that pouch you also have a little bit of a leaflet that are, tells you about that wood clip that came along in the pouch. Uh, explain the, they explain the, the blackness you can see in this wood clip. They explain that in this leaflet here. On the back side here you do have the GPS codes where it's uh, where the tree has stood, where it's grown. Uh, you do have the harvest day, you do have the distiller's name. That adds great value to me as a customer. Now, the presentation. I mean, if I would put that by in here, I guess you see what your eyes will be drawn to. Pull it out. This is a 15, 15 ml bottle. This is a 50 ml bottle. This weighs more than this one. Just saying. <laughs> for some people it matters, it matters to me. For some they don't care. Uh, nice, the most weight is in the cap. It's really a heavy cap. It's comparable to your Parfum de Mali caps. You have a nice, the nice emblem from uh, Fragrance de Bois on top on it. You do have some nice black stones around it. That adds value to me as well. Nice, neat design, no text whatsoever on it, except in front where it tells you which fragrance it is. And that is all the text you find on, on this fragrance, right, except for this little pouch with the li nice little leaflet telling you about it. So that's, that are the reasons why I feel Creed is overpriced. Presentation, box, details, scents, a little bit sense that there are so many clones that takes a little bit value off from it for me at least and that it doesn't have enough alternatives it doesn't have enough in the lineup to be great fragrances that's my opinion make up your own opinion <laughs> anyway if you like the content i will come back to these fragrances i will do a fra fragrance bois special i have three fragrances from them so i'm planning on doing that I have four samples on the way that are one from Nose, Nose, No Notes and his Instagram 5, 5k giveaway. I also have another four fra uh, samples from Fragrance Bois on the way that I bought myself. So there will be a lot of Fragrance de Bois in the future on this channel as well. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe, see you later, stay safe everybody, bye.